term husband material has been used to describe a man who has the qualities to be a good husband. In recent times, many women have been talking about how to find a man who is a husband material. But the question is, what are the signs that the man that you've met is a husband material? Like our videos, comment on them, ask us questions, and then share our videos to help us to make this channel grow. So, what are the signs that the man that you've met is a husband material? The following are some of the signs that the man that you've met is a husband material. Number one, he inspires you to be the best version of yourself. A man who is a husband material should support you towards the attainment of your goals. He should help you and support you to be able to achieve your dreams in life. After a year or some five or six months meeting such a man, if your life has not changed or progressed from where you are to another level, then he's probably not a husband material. Number two, if he is a husband material, then he should be a man that you can trust. I don't think any marriage or relationship can survive without any element of trust. If he is a man that you cannot trust, if he is lying to you all the time, then he's probably not a man that you have to get married to. Number three, he shares some level of similarity with you. If he is a good husband material, then he should be similar to you in many aspects of life. For example, he should be similar to you in terms of your vision of the future. He should be similar to you in terms of your religious beliefs and also your perspectives about life in general. A man who is a good husband material should be willing to introduce you to his friends and family. Assuming you meet a man whom you've seen for about three months, four months, or even a year, yet he is not willing to show you to his friends or his family members. This can be a huge red flag that such a man is not a husband material. Perhaps he is just a player who wants to just spend a few time with you, get whatever he wants from you, and then run away. Number five, he is financially responsible. A man who spends his money on many unnecessary things may not be a good husband material for you. For example, if he's spending money on smoking excessively, drinking alcohol excessively, or even womanizing all the time, then this man might not be good for you. Number six, he has a great sense of humor. Many women seem to be interested in men who make them laugh at least most of the time. I don't know why women seem to like guys who make them laugh. At least that's what the research says. So, I mean, if it's a guy who makes you laugh, then it probably can be a good husband material for you. Such a guy can easily resolve conflicts or disagreements with you whenever there is one because he can make such disagreement or conflicts become something that you can all laugh about. A husband material should be a guy who is independent. He doesn't have to be a millionaire to be a good husband material or he doesn't have to have a fancy house to be a good husband material. But at least he should have a place where he stays. He should be someone who is able to pay his bills. He should be someone who can buy food and eat and also buy some for you to eat. Such a guy who is independent can be a good husband material for you. Number eight, he treats your friends and family well. A guy who is a husband material should be able to relate cordially with your friends and your family. If he is always fighting with your friends and also with your family members, then he probably might not be good for you because chances are that after marriage, this guy will cause the same issues with your friends and also with your family members and there will be no happiness in your marriage. Number nine, he is consistent in his speech and also in his behavior. I mean, you want to get married to a man who is consistent in the way he speaks and also the way he behaves. For example, if you are with an inconsistent guy, he will tell you, okay, I want us to get married. The next moment, he changes his mind and tells you that, okay, I, I don't want us to get married. Such an inconsistent guy may not be good for you and also for your future. Number 10, a guy who is a husband material should be ready to get married. If this guy is telling you that he's not ready to get married, then he's probably not a good man for you to hang around with. If he's ready to get married, you see it in his preparation, the terms that he's bought, where he's staying, the work that he does. These are factors that can make you see that he's someone who is ready to get married. Sometimes some of them will just tell you that he's ready to get married, yet if you look around, you look at what he does, 
you know, he's probably without a job, he doesn't have where he stays, then he's probably not a guy who's ready to get married and then you have to stay away from such a guy. Thanks for watching to the end of this video. These are some of the factors that you can consider in trying to choose a good husband material. Subscribe to this channel to support us. Also like, comment and then share our videos to help us to grow this channel. Thank you.